Ian Connor is arguably one of the most influential streetwear influencers of the SoundCloud generation. He was the embodiment of mixing his fashion sense into music which gained him a cult-like following, helping him being responsible for prominent music careers like D Savage, Lil Yachty, and of course, Playboy Cardi. Oh, don't don't like like not only that, but also being a model for Kanye West, the owner of Revenge and his clothing brand Sicko, and being involved in very suspicious allegations which caused him many setbacks throughout his career. But depending on who you ask, some may say he deserved to be in prison while wishing nothing but the worst for him, while others were praising for the significant role he had on music culture. But regardless, whatever side you reside on, there's no denying his impact and the many careers who benefited from him. And I don't think he get his just due all the time when it comes down to that. He came and he helped. A lot. And then he put me on a, a more global scale, which opened up the door and made it a lot easier. What's wrong with your buzz at that time? Um, it was good, you know what I'm saying? Upcoming SoundCloud artist. Uh, and I had uh, another friend of mine who was um, part of ASAP. So Rocky was just, if you wanted to find out anything about me, he'll just hit up, you know, the other ASAP artist who was around. Who was around me, you know what I'm saying? And who was that? That was Ian, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, so he was a part of ASAP and uh, he brought me to my first South by. Yo, the game changing, dog. And I remember I said to you a long time ago, I said, yo, why you ain't signed some of these niggas? Because you, you low key, I'm not remember, yo, when I found you, dog, when I, when I found out who you were and how influential you were, I found out about 10 artists because of you. Born on January the 2nd, 1993, Ian Connor was raised in New York up till he was 9, which then he moved to Atlanta where he would be there for another 9 years. And this is where he got his inspiration in the fashion world as a youth growing up. As a kid, Ian was said that he always seen himself as an outcast, not having that many friends of people calling him ugly and being labeled as a midget, with him being at the height of 5'4 to 5'5, which is the same height as Little Uzi. But anyways, when Ian Connor would turn 18, he would move back to New York, where he would start gaining some traction on this microblogging platform named Tumblr alongside Glenn Brown and L3NF to promote their own line of screen printed shirts and sweaters. The main reason why Ian would blow up on Tumblr was due to his uniqueness and his hipster like pics. It was seen as him living as a rock star doing edgy things and this is where he came up with his own moniker King of the Youth which at the time really felt like he was especially on social media and would even catch the attention of a big corporation complex where he would be named on complex's 25 under 25 list which was basically a list of social media's fashion influencers under 25. Ian will also work with other streetwear clothing brands like Bape, Stussy, and Rude. With him gaining a lot of fans and traction, Ian Connor will start working with big entertainers at this point and will firstly style for Wiz Khalifa for a short term and will then get a really big cosign by the one and only Kanye West where he wanted Ian to model for him and made him the head consultant for Kanye's creative team, clearly seeing the fashion sense vision in Ian that he admired. I'm his creative consultant, so I advise on the clothing and give my ideas as far as this is right, this is wrong, this is cool, we should bring in this person, we should not effort this person. Ian Connor would gain more recognition once he signed to ASAP Rocky's group ASAP Mob, and he would be the first to sign to the All Creative Collective, which was the group's clothing brand name. With Ian signing with them, he would gain more connections and relationships in the industry and will also style and model for other fashion designers like ASAP Bari who owns v and Virgil Abloh who does Off-White who he got connected to through Kanye West. Not only was Ian's influences breaking through the fashion industry, but also in the music underground SoundCloud scene around 2015 and 2016 where he would heavily affiliate with artists like Lil Yachty, D Savage, and Playboy Cardi, tweeting their music out, introducing them to other big celebrities that Ian had relationships with, and just so overall helping establish their aesthetic, especially with the two guys I just mentioned like Yachty and Cardi where he would introduce both of them to the ASAP mob and he would help Cardi get signed to them and he always made sure that he was in pictures with him so that way his cult like fanbase would love him too and if Ian didn't do as much as he did for Cardi he wouldn't be as big as he is. He gave Cardi knowledge and game about branding himself as an artist and caring about your image and how you're portrayed to your fans as much as your music. Even sometimes putting your ideal aesthetic over your music just so your fans will care about you more. And I think now more than ever in 2023, Cardi mastered that thanks to Ian. And to Yachty, he got a lot of big cosigns and placements due to Connor's affiliation. You gotta remember, around 2016, Yachty became a really big talking point after he modeled for Kanye West at the Yeezy Season 3 event, and that was because of Ian Connor being at the right place and at the right time. Once they saw Lil Yachty as one of the models, it captured a lot of people's attention, and for a lot of them, they went on and checked out his music for the first time, and more and more big blogs started to pick up on them because of that. 
Around mid-2016, a group of females would accuse Ian Connor of some horrendous accusations, where they would all claim that they were sexually assaulted by him and he did things to them upon their will. Now this was a career defying moment for Ian Connor right here and not in a good way cause it caused a lot of setbacks not only from big corporations but his fellow peers too. Such as people like Kanye West, ASAP Rocky and the rest of the ASAP mob all keeping a distance from him. And even Playboy Cardi and Lil Yachty were being seen a lot less around him too. But one rapper in particular Theophilus London took things to another level where he threatened to beat up Ian the next time he seen him. Which was a big deal to a lot of people cause he too was also heavy affiliated with the ASAP mob and Kanye West too. And things would get crazy too after this once they saw each other at a fashion show in Paris where a fight would break out where as you can see Ian Connor tried to sneak him from behind but the punch is just terrible and then you see Esa Bari trying to fight Ian Connor too after the fact and it just made everything in the whole situation worse <laughs> Theophilus London and ASAP Bar have both gone to Twitter rant about Ian Connor while he would just respond back by saying F everybody. From that moment on, ASAP Bar's and Ian Connor's relationship would never be the same. And still to this day in 2023, they still have an ongoing beef. Oh, well, you know, someone who is like kind of threw you under the bus, Bari a little bit. Like when his situations came out, you never like Happy kicked birthday back to that man, bro. Yeah, exactly. I, that's all I got to say. Happy birthday to him. Be long forever, you dig? Like, that's that. <laughs> like, I'm not even one to speak. Yeah. That's I, I love that man, bro. Like thank I, I thank him for everything that he's done. Negative yeah, 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 cool or positive. Well, I wouldn't say cool, but just still well, thank no, him. No negative energy. No negative energy. Hell nah, for what? That young man made money, bro. He made money, he staying, he do his shit. Then niggas do their shit. Nigga, we do our shit. That's that. Would you like, work with him again? I would hell no, hell no. I would never work with that man, bro. Despite the beefs and setbacks in 2016 that Ian Connor was going through, he would prevail in the next year when he released a shoe brand called Revenge Storm, which was basically some vans with stripes on it, but it was majorly successful, especially with high profile celebrities like Kylie Jenner being seen with him. A lot of people called him out for him for how unoriginal he was and the price being over $200, but you know the hype beast is still bought him. And Ian even acknowledges that they are very similar to the old school vans, but he just added his own creative twist to it which shows despite the controversy that Ian's been through he still had a fan base that was gonna buy anything that had his name attached to it but shortly after he would sell the brand to PacSun for 2.5 million dollars which kind of diminished the authenticity of the shoe brand and since then sales of it has decreased in the next year in 2018 Ian Connor would do another drop for a new brand called Sicko which he also refers to as Born From Pain this was a highly anticipated new theme from Ian cause many celebrities were seen promoting it and wearing it and at one point Ian even said that this will be his last drop before early retirement. Connor's previous Storm Revenge lineup was themed around revenge to get all the people who hated and doubted him and the close ties that he's recently cut. The Sicko brand is an extension of that and a way for Ian to embrace his inner vice and demons. He continues the theme in his clothing when the tag reads Made in Pain. This sickle brand of course will not go without a hitch cause Ian would get sued in 2021 for infringing on another brand called Sicko who already had the trademark to the name and claimed that his business was affected by Ian's by stealing it and of course more people called him out again for his unoriginal idea. Things would get even worse in 2019 when Ian Connor got convicted of a federal gun charge due to him having three prior firearm convictions in California where he would be sentenced to one year in prison but would only ended up doing six months. Since then, Ian has been really low key and just been minding his own business and is still dropping sicko merch still to this day on his website. And though I feel like Ian's career has taken a hit since the allegations, he's still thriving from a business standpoint and many popular people still associate themselves with him. Now don't get me wrong, a lot of people really hate this dude, like I'm talking about really hate this dude badly, especially since his victim count jumped up to 33 women, which is insane and it should be investigated by the police. Cause no matter who you are, I don't condone sexual assault or violence on females. And when it gets to the point when the number is that high, I start to look at you with a side eye and I don't blame anybody who doesn't support this guy. But at the same time, I won't be so quick to judge him either, cause technically he hasn't been proven guilty and it's not my place to say whether he's in a right or in the wrong in the situation, especially if I don't have all the facts or details to it. 
Ian Connor was an important figure to modern hip hop culture, which his influence still carries over still to this day. And for so long, I was wondering like why a lot of people don't give him his credit today. Cause this man literally built careers off of the biggest names in the music industry. But yet today, all people do is down talk him for how much they hate him and how he should be in prison, which at first I didn't understand it. But now after really doing some research, I completely get it. And everything that happened to Ian is his own doing. He could have been revered as the next Virgil Abloh who broke boundaries and pushed the pedestal to the next level. But instead, in my opinion, he's now just looked at as an unforgotten visionary who has a dirty background. But this is a little brief little video about Ian Connor and my thoughts and opinions about him. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all rock with him or not? Because I'm telling you, there's so many people on the Reddit, big media corporations, and even some of his fellow fashion peers like ASAP Bari shitting on him. Which I do understand because it comes with the things that he's been accused of. But even a lot of Cardi fans hate this guy too and i'm just thinking like you know if it wasn't for ian cardi wouldn't be cardi right like more than likely you wouldn't know who playboy cardi is at all but hey that's just my opinion y'all be sure to leave y'all's down below be sure to like the video comment share subscribe have a nice day